Bansko in September. Winner. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Not me. Not me. We're Jordan and Emily. In March of 2022, we decided to quit our jobs and travel the world full time. We've spent the last three days in Sofia, Bulgaria, where we've seen some incredible sights and eaten delicious food. But yesterday, we picked up a car from the airport and drove to the first stop on our Bulgarian road trip. We have woken up to chilly, misty Bansko. Bansko? We've come here because it's a super popular destination in winter for skiing. Obviously it's not ski season yet, but we're gonna go explore the cute old town and then maybe go for a hike if the weather holds out. Wow, okay, first impressions of this town. Immediately you can smell like winter. It sounds weird, but you can smell the cool air and like fires, like people having wood fires in their house. The houses are so cute. They look really like, I don't know, they've got the stone on the bottom and the wood and the, ugh, so wintry and chalet like. It's cold today though, so I think we need a coffee. Really not sure why we picked Bansko as our first stop of the Bulgarian road trip, but it's really pretty already. It's like a super popular place for digital nomads for some reason as well. There's like heaps of co-working areas and like a nomad festival every year. It's such a ski place though, like it is a ski town through and through. Have views of the mountains in like every background when it's not so foggy. <laughs> it feels like we've gone from summer straight to winter. It just feels like it's been instantly cold and I've got sick. <laughs> We really didn't know what to expect when we picked Vansko first. I thought it was going to be summer and we we're going to be hiking up green mountains and having amazing views. It's super overcast today, but the old town? Very cool. Again, this city is full of surprises. I actually don't know where we are right now, but it's a really beautiful garden with cats running around. It's a church, monastery. Yeah, it's a church that's got like a fortress wall around it. I wonder how old this is. Plants and the cats, and there's like a little water river kind of thing just running through. It's really nice. Okay, now we're gonna find some breakfast and coffee. <laughs> Thank you. 
Apparently breakfast is really hard to get here. We've tried like three or four different places. They serve coffee, but no breakfast whatsoever. That last place we went into looked more like a bar, but there was a guy who was super nice and he gave us directions to what should be a good and open bakery. Oh my gosh. Really thought that was gonna be the one. Apparently she did make some traditional breakfasts, but she'd sold out already. So we might be going hungry. <laughs> I cannot believe how difficult it is to find breakfast in Bansko. We ended up just going to a supermarket. We have a coffee and a chocolate croissant. <laughs> not the healthiest. It's the only option we have. It's not even that early. It's like 10 a.m. No, it's like 11 now, probably. Yeah, 11. And nothing is serving breakfast foods or croissants or benitsa or anything we could eat. <gasps> Lucky the town's so cute. Even though the breakfast was average, the company and the views were awesome. The sun has come out, so we are trying to get up the mountain as quickly as we can to try and squeeze this hike in, because I think it's going to rain later on. The clouds have just lifted over the mountain a little bit, so you can almost see the top of it. <laughs> We're not doing the full hike today, but there should be a nice easy one that we can get done before the rain comes. It's a half hour drive there, and we should be able to stop at the oldest tree in Europe? That uh, seems crazy. One of the oldest trees in the world. Is one I of read. the oldest trees in the world? I read. Whoa. It's like the trees aren't just green, yellow and red. It's like bright orange and bright yellow and bright green. Oh, the contrast is insane. And then we're one of like five cars I think we've seen so far. There is a gondola that takes you all the way up the mountain, but it's not running right now. Obviously it's not in any sort of season. So we are doing the drive up Viren Mountain on the Piran Mountain Range to the Viren Hut. Nice and confusing. That's where all the hikes start from. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I can't get over the colour. Look at that one tree has all three colours. Look at that. Gosh. We saw the temperature gauge go down as we were in the car. It dropped like seven degrees coming up here. It's six degrees now. It's so pretty up here though. It there's is. trees and the mist on the mountains. Yeah. And there's this really cool cabin. restaurant, cabin, and they've got smoke coming out, so there must be a fire inside. It's really dramatic. Like it's a dramatic so landscape dramatic. up here. I don't know if you can see how cold it is. Whoa! Pretty cold. You're a dragon. <laughs> yeah. This tree was germinated in 345 AD, which makes it over one and a half thousand years old. Which makes it 1,637 years old.
Awesome little pit stop on one of the oldest trees in Europe. Now we're going to one of the huts in the mountains where a lot of the hikes start from. And I hope we see stuff that's just as pretty as what we've seen. There's supposed to be a lake, obviously heaps more mountain scenery. That little itty bitty hike has got me so excited for this next one hour one. We're driving further up into the mountains to what is called Viren Hut. And from there, it's like a half hour walk to a lake. I think we've found where this hike starts, but none of the signs are in English and none of them say what we assume it should say. So fingers crossed. Definitely don't have the right shoes for this. There's about 10 hiking trails that all leave from that hut. And we pick the easiest one, obviously. Try and avoid the rain. But we are in the clouds right now. I'm trying to find a lake and I can definitely hear a waterfall, so I'd say we're on the right path. It's marked by these little markers, which is nice. Bansko in September. Winner. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Nami. Nami. It's so misty, but it just makes it so much prettier and more dramatic. Surely this is the lake, right? Yeah, this has to be the lake. <laughs> yeah. Should be just up here. Yeah. We made it. Whoa! We made it! We made it. It is gorgeous. Quite a steep but short hike. Yeah, like it's still a bit of a challenge. It's not like an easy one. I wouldn't say it's easy. Yeah, and I think because it's like been rainy and it's wet, all the mud's really slippy as well. Yeah, it's very peaceful. <laughs> the water is so crystal clear and the reflection of all the view around it is so pretty. About halfway up the mountain, we passed like this wooden hut for the fireplace. It looked like they served beers, so we're gonna see if we can get one on the way back. To be honest, that lake was super pretty and really should have been very peaceful, but there was one really loud, really obnoxious family there, like fully yelling. Kind of took away from the tranquil nature vibe that it should have been. Oh well, still glad we came. Ooh. The second I look away. Thankfully we have enough money that we're getting fries with cheese and we got two beers which they're keeping cold by like the mountain river water outside. It's just like running through and the beers and the drinks are all placed inside. It's so cool. 
I love this place. I've come inside, it's so toasty warm because there's a fire going, like a proper wood fire. This is so nice. What a finish to Bansko. The rest of Bulgaria has a lot to live up to. I love potato.